Welcome back, everybody, to the final part of the Mario is Missing playthrough. Oh my god, is it almost over already? I can't believe it. Well, you know what? That might as well be a good thing because, well, the well has run dry in terms of me having stuff to talk about during this crazy playthrough. Yeah, it's a really short game, and that, uh, I think that pretty much works out well because there's just really monotonous and, uh, yeah, you, I, I mean, you all know this already. What, what, what else can I say? Yeah, severe time skips abound because, well, uh, you pretty much know what happens. I'm running around this crazy random city in the world where there seems to be all sorts of red unpainted brick houses and gray skies with lots of buildings in the background. Yeah, I wonder where that could possibly be. Where is it always seemingly gloomy and cloudy and rainy? Huh, I don't know. And I'm sure we'll find out in a little bit, though. Um, but yeah, aside from that, uh, stomping on random Koopas, avoiding Michael Jackson, and of course picking up artifacts, and yet, yes, answering questions about said random artifacts. <laughs> Fatality. <laughs> Toasty. Ah, uh, man, I really should have referenced that before. I just now thought of that. <laughs> Toasty. I love that. Anyway, so yeah, we are, um, doing stuff. You know, funnily enough making that word up, of course. Um, <clears throat> I actually did this, uh, half of this playthrough narration. Uh-oh, watch out for Michael Jackson. Whoa, that was awfully close. Oh, man, that, that was crazy close. Uh, I did about half of it. Uh, I would say about four minutes worth. And, uh, guess what I did? Well, I kind of stumbled on something, uh, and I <laughs> went to go save it so that I could sort of trim it and, uh, and keep narrating. But instead of picking save, I picked cancel. So... All of that was gone. I'm doing this again. You know, it's just so exciting to do a part of this playthrough again. Anyway, so now we're bringing back the bust of Shakespeare, and I got that question wrong, back to the Westminster Abbey. Hint, hint. Um, yeah, I accidentally tried to give back the crown jewels the first time. Apparently I was very wrong. What does Minster mean anyway? I don't know, let's just say monastery. Yeah. That, that seems to be the right thing. And there's the beautiful Westminster Abbey. Never been there, but uh, that's no surprise. Of course, like I've mentioned before, I've not traveled outside the U.S. Yeah, I should, <laughs> I should get out more. <laughs> anyway, so yes, wow, that, oh my god, that was another close call with Michael Jackson. My, I, I almost saw like my life flash before my eyes. It's crazy. So now we're bringing back the Big Ben's Minute Hand. Boy, these Coopers are so clever with what they steal. Now, I could have sworn Big Ben was like a tower, you know? I mean, clock is like an obvious trap in terms of answers. And I don't know how high it is. I just guessed the highest number because <laughs> it seems like a tall structure. So I just picked the largest number on there. And so why the heck not? Oh, well. Big Ben! Yeah, how exciting. Um, okay, well, sort of overstayed my welcome in terms of that picture. Run, Luigi, run! Somebody mentioned before that, um, you know, about Yoshi, how you can get Yoshi at any time during, you know, being through the, uh, running through the city. Uh, I did mention that before, but I said I didn't really want to do that because this is a Luigi game, not a Yoshi game. It's supposed to be all about Luigi. From the tower, you can see random answer. <laughs> the Thames, or the Thames. I really don't know how to pronounce that word. But there's the very nicely done Tower of London. With the Union Jack flag, of course. That's no surprise. I'm sure this is um, definitely exciting the Brits, of course. Yes, I'm sure you all know by now that we are indeed in London. And, you know, funnily enough, this is the same exact music that they use in Sydney. Oh, you crazy people in your commonwealth using the same music and everything. Anyway. Yoshi, navigate us to London and get us out of here. No, no, not Ireland. London. Get it right. Rub, see ya. Ah, this city is finally secured, unlike Santiago, Chile. <laughs> There's still Koopas running around. Oh, gee. Anyway. And that's the final one on this floor. That means it's Freak of Nature time. It's Roy. <laughs> Roy, a.k.a. Bully Koopa. <laughs> Boy.
Holy Koopa. Uh, that's a reference to the uh, animated series, if anybody has seen that. I believe they called him that in both Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Mario World. But what am I doing not singing? What a freak of nature! Ah, I don't really get so much time to sing. Oh well. And with that third boss done, of course, randomly stomping on his head without getting hurt at all, that's it for this floor, that's it for the gameplay. Now what happens? Let's find out. Luigi pulled random lever. Random lever caused random wall to open. Mario appears. <laughs> I love the way he like, shakes his hands up and down. Uh oh, what a freak of nature. It's the biggest one of all. What a freak of nature. <laughs> Look at his face. Oh, Bowser, you are quite the one. What is this? A random cannon? Like, Luigi just happens to pull a cannon, a hole opens up in the ground, and a gigantic cannon happens to, uh, to be in the floor. Did I say he pulls a cannon? I meant he pulls a lever. Yes, he pulls a, a lever again. Yeah, he pulls the lever one way, and it just so happens to release Mario from his confines. And then when he pulls the lever back the way it was, uh, <laughs> a cannon comes out to, uh, just shoot Bowser into the... Antarctic ice, where he freezes and apparently breaks up into little pieces. He's been killed. Anyway, that's it for the Mario's Missing playthrough. Thank you all very much for watching this exciting playthrough. Uh, yes, I do understand the fact that this was not the most exciting game in the world. I'm very sorry. But, you know, this is one of the games that I grew up playing, so, um... A lot of memories tied to this. And thank you to these six artists for their wonderful jobs drawing these these pictures because they, like I said before, they did a magnificent job. Thank you, Dave Sullivan, for making that very funny and random title sequence where Mario falls from the sky and Luigi seems to be absolutely not surprised by it at all. And here's the product designers, possibly the people who decided how the game was going to be played. Writing and research. One lady did all those questions and trivia and answers, and wow, that's just amazing stuff. I missed the, uh, oh, there's the music and effects. Thank you, Sam Powell, who most likely did the music. And thank you, viewer, for watching this playthrough. I'll see you all in the next playthrough. I'm not going to spoil it because that's just how I am. And uh, that's about it, so thank you again. See you all next time.